Uh, greetings, Scorpio, and welcome. Uh, my name is Ingrid, and this is Ingrid's Insight. So let's dive right in and see what Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising you have on the horizon for August 2024. And so it is. And I'll be pulling uh, <clears throat> these cards are for the beginning of the month. You're going to cut the cords with a situation that is no longer serving you. And you're going to have to uh, make this severance. And it could be hurting your heart, but you're going to do that. And it's coming because at the middle of the month, uh, there is going to be composure. After you cut the cords at the beginning of August, there will be composure. You will be resting and being at ease. And then you're going to, at the end of the month, do the work. And so let's see what we have um, with these three uh, cards. And <clears throat> at the beginning of August, you're cutting the cords. You're separating from a situation that is no longer serving you. And you're going to... Um, use this um, truth, this um, accuracy. You could be dealing with a lawyer, but this uh, king of swords is going to help you cut the cords because you're going to uh, see things from um, a new perspective. Uh, you're going to use your life experiences uh, to see mentally uh, what you need um, to separate yourself from and take the emotion out of it. And often when we cut the cords on something, we have to uh, use our intellect, our, in, our rationality, uh, our logic. And you're doing that because uh, of temperance, where you're going to uh, cut the cords, see the truth, and then um, begin to transform. Uh, after you see the truth and get um, above the clouds, you're going to um, renew, heal alchemize, take parts of yourself you like and parts you don't like and to blend them together and you will transform into something um, different. Uh, and it's coming because you're letting go of something that mentally you know is not true. And it's coming because of the Six of Wands and you're going to be uh, victorious. Uh, this is going to bring you success. Um, victory is coming at the first of the month. You're cutting the cords because you're seeing something uh, with intellect, with logic, with reason. You're taking the emotions out and you've been healing and transforming um, the parts of yourself you like and you don't, the parts you understand and the parts you don't understand yet. And when you do that, you're gonna be victorious, uh, be recognized, uh, have a following. People are gonna uh, agree with this situation and recognize you. And you're gonna have composure um, that is coming in the middle of the month because of a new opportunity. You've been given this potential, a gift. Um, you might be wanting to learn something, study something. Uh, you, this is a young energy. It could involve a, someone younger than you or a child. But you're going to have composure around uh, some opportunity. Uh, take it easy. Really reflect on it. Uh, do the work, because it says do the work. At the, so you're going to begin this opportunity to do something, to create something with your money, with a new job opportunity, to learn, to study something. And uh, it's going to bring the Eight of Pentacles, where you're going to work on this and uh, craft. It's something new. Uh, that you're um, <clears throat> a skill set that you've been uh, working on for quite a while now. And you're taking that pure potential with that composed energy. You could be meditating on um, what it is you need to work on, what you want to learn, what you're studying. And you will be very good at it. And you might work a lot at this coming up. And there's something you're working hard on financially at the middle of the month. And it's going to bring you a new way of loving, a new divine love, a feeling of just love all around you. And that's going to be part of that success, this victory in love and cutting the cord on an old uh, situation at the 1st of August uh, with truth and justice and rightness and balancing out and healing um, after that 
and that will bring you victory. And that composure is around your money, around uh, this new opportunity, uh, maybe a new relationship that will help you uh, grow and learn and be skillful at um, work at the work you're doing. And you're going to love that. You're going to love what you're working on. And whatever this work you're doing is coming in because you're doing the work at the end of August. What is this? Focus. The Knight of Cups. Well, you're focusing on something you love, something you love doing, something that's coming in with momentum, um, something you're very sentimental and uh, tender about, something artistic and creative. And it's going to uh, death. Well, the death card is saying uh, that whatever this is that you've been doing the work on around love, around a situation, um, a love offering, something you feel very sentimental and tender and artistic about, something you just uh, know emotionally uh, needs to come to an end. And you've been doing the work on that. Maybe as you're doing the work so this new love can uh, come to you with success. But something is ending. It's coming to the end because it needs to come to the end. It's a natural ending. And uh, it's saying you will have a rebirth when you do the work on letting something uh, end. That's part of cutting the cord. And it's going to bring you a new love, a partnership <coughs> that's going to be very, um, you just feel like this twin flame. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Something is <coughs> about this love coming in. It's, <coughs> it's choking me up. Excuse me. <coughs> Scorpio. And <coughs> wow, this is powerful. <coughs> Something <coughs> about this new union, this new joining <coughs> after this ending. It's coming for you. So you're going to cut the cords <clears throat> at the beginning of August. In the middle of August, you're going to find your composure because you're going to do the work. And that's going to bring in <clears throat> a lot of love, a new partnership, a new way of loving after something has come to an end. And that's what I have for you, a Scorpio. And let's get one final card to see, to wrap up the reading. And you're going to surrender. Well, the death card is asking you to let go of something so you can have this whole new union come in at the end of August. And that's what I have. And thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and uh, leaving me um, comments and your thumbs up. And you know I love you all, Scorpio. Uh, you're uh, a very a sign of transformation. You showed up in your own reading. And there you are, letting something go, renewing, uh, transforming, and doing that inner work so you can let go and join again with this deep um, partnership. And so it is. And thank you so much uh, for being here with me. And you know I love you all. Wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a wonderful August. See you next time. Bye-bye.